right now. So I have been asked by a few people to demonstrate how to do my on the job unicorn face. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I will be putting the paints and the paintbrush names um, in the comments below, in the description below for you. And if there's any other, you know, skills, methods or whatever you would like to see, just pop them in the comments. Okay, so first of all, I get some superstar paint onto a floral sponge and I go over the eyes gently just to give a little bit of colour. Doesn't have to be a lot and you don't have to do it at all if they don't like it. And then I do a sort of crescent moon type shape on the forehead, blending the two colours together. I've got a slightly darker shimmer blue and a lighter blue. Okay. Okay, so should do. I'll get rid of that little bit of paint I just put there. And the next bit I do is the ears, which is one of the main things that people have asked me to demonstrate. What's so funny? So I use a um, either a Natalie Davies one stroke from her natural range or a DFX Posy um, one stroke. They both are perfect for unicorn ears. Okay, so going through the sides here and go up like that and then like that. And then I do a, a sort of, you know, like you would for leaves. Please don't move like that. Like that. On there. Hold your face round. Please don't laugh. And then the same up there. Roughly the same shape. And again we go around like that. Okay, and then the next step I do, which really adds to how pretty it is, please stop moving. Do another little pretty shape in there, like that. And as you can see, I probably just need to like go over that bit again because it's not quite right. Which of course you can do on the job. I'll leave that to dry before I do that piece there. Okay. So for the um, sides on my unicorns, I then use another one stroke, any colour depends what colour the children are using. I Today I am doing a, a sort of a bluey, frozeny esque kind of colours for my unicorn. So same here. I do another kind of blue up a little circle, up a little heart shape there, another one like that. And then do a little squiggle like that. And the same on the other side. Can you turn your face around that way for me? You can do it that way. This, do you need to itch something? Okay, just itch it quickly. Right. And then like that. And there's a 
this bed so that'll be quite cute so the side bits i've always found it's like you just do whatever comes best for you whatever you feel like doing really i've done all sorts of different can you put your head up please i've done all sorts of different things experimenting deciding what i like best so now that bit's dried there pretty much we can do the other petal inside of the ear there okay and that leaves a very pretty shape like that So then what I also do, the next step I do is I then use my pop stencil of the unicorn horn. And as we all know, we don't do pink unicorn horns. Don't need to explain the reason. So my choice of unicorn horn is this lovely one stroke that I've got here of a dark deep blue with some black and okay so you see that okay when you've sort them in as they feel so position it in the middle as best we can there right let's pop that on like that and then Get them to stay still a moment. Close your eyes, please. Do a little squirt of aurora glitter on there. And we have a nice sparkly unicorn horn. My next stage that I do is my swirls. And I always do my lines, swirls, before I do any petals, anything like that, so that you can't kind of see the join, as it were. So can you just keep your face like that for a moment? So, any like swirls, these are the things that you practice. Bit of drag and drop, little swirls, anything you fancy. Go for the flow. On the other side. I don't worry about it looking exactly the same as the other side. Just a bit of whatever looks pretty, I think. And the next ones I do are my white swirls or lines or whatever we call them. Okay, so I do, this is what I do. I do a little starburst there by the horn. You do however you want as many as you want and then okay I also do a few little hairs like that inside the ear can you stay still for a moment okay And then going around here, we'll just do some like extra bits, just to add a few more pretty bits like that. Do another swirl, just add pretty bits. Okay. Love my liner brushes. Okay, so that's those bits. Next bits are our 
petals. You okay? I have a very fidgety model. Great practice for on the job. brush and the one I'm using for this this right now at the moment my new one to not new but the one I'm trying out for the moment is a Snazaru all round red brush which does make very pretty little petals okay so ready to sit still for a moment so I usually start in the middle Can you not roll through? Okay. And then we should do a few round here. I don't know what I feel like. This is entirely just instinctual. Remember this is a actually a fast design does not take very long to do and I change it up quite a lot adding different bits depending on how I feel and my last bits are my dots I do like a dot I use the lemon chiffon from face paints Australia for this my favorite dotting color Um, obviously, you can use any colour for dots, whatever you fancy. The main important thing is getting a good brush for your dots that makes nice dots. I like a Mark Reed paintbrush, perfect for dots. Okay, and then obviously in there, so I think I might go up there a bit. Way. Do a few in there, a few over there, like that. So again, dots can go wherever you like, really, and however many you think looks nice at the time. There we go. Look at the camera. And that is a basic unicorn horn. And then, so just to add to this, I've got, can you sit straight please? I have also made my, you know it's not a reindeer, I thought it would look nice, my headdress that I have made. My, my son's quite sensitive, so it doesn't actually probably hurt, really. Okay, look up at the camera. Okay, and there we are, it goes from side to side. Just move your face from side to side. Yeah, that, both ways. That's it, and back round the other side. Not, no, slowly, darling, slowly. Okay, like that, and like that. Okay, thank you.